I now to ask uh, uh, and give the floor to Mr. Ahmed Fati, a global affairs and economist analyst and managing editor of American Television News, focusing on the underserved niche of multilingual news production in the official UN languages and also sign language. You know, it's a language. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Daniela, and thank you, Amin, uh, for uh, convening and organizing this uh, message. Madam Moderator, uh, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, according to uh, UNICEF, more than 3 billion people live in poverty, and 1.3 billion live in extreme poverty, and of that, 1 billion children suffering 22,000 deaths every single day. Due to poverty and its effects, these statistics are not shocking to most. But the real question is, how do these statistics become more than a number? How do society and lawmakers turn 3.6 billion into faces and names? What creates a global consciousness that will lead to more sustainable development? Major institutions of the world made poverty elevation an initiative. The World Bank, USAID, and the United Nations declared common goal to end poverty in all its manifestations by 2030. It is the job and role of media to tell the story of poverty mm -hmm. and to shape the message so that the new generation will, in fact, act upon the mandates of these organizations and work together to encourage sustainable development. Media has always inspired action and led awareness. Images of sickly children close to death or starving have mobilized generations of voters. It becomes more than just ratings and popularity. It is the media ethical duty to tell the story of poverty and to inform and educate about the ways to end it. Everyone encounters poverty at some level. Whether it be the homeless man begging as you sip on your $5 coffee in a trendy coffee shop, or a sickly person at the emergency room, obviously too poor for care, the media must tell the story behind these images and be willing to ask the tough questions to lawmakers. How does one become homeless? How does poverty affect well-being? As a nation grapples with health insurance issues, there are many nations struggling with disease and malnutrition. The media must tell those stories. It is the ethical responsibility of the media to go beyond what is known and to teach the world by opening the eyes of society to the issues of poverty. More than, more than 750 million people lack adequate access to clean drinking water. Diarrhea caused by inadequate drinking water, sanitation, and hand hygiene kill an estimated 842,000 people every year globally, or approximately 2,300 people every single day. It is fair to say poverty kills. Media allow society to see these outcomes. Outcomes that can be changed. Many superstars became involved with the global initiatives that drive sustainable development after viewing a documentary or television special of poverty. Names like Bono, Leonardo DiCaprio, Angelina Jolie, and many others have begun to work towards ending poverty. But the media must take into consideration how that message is spread. The news has taken to social media and created a new movement of social justice. This means in an era that questions media, the media has a responsibility to combat the message and counter with real stories of poverty from around the world. From the individual blight with joblessness to the community sufferings of diseases and violence, we must pen the stories and photograph the images that carry a society beyond its, in, its own neighborhoods. <clears throat> Facts and statistics must continue to come to life in all forms. Newspapers, television, social media, whether the story is told in 140 characters or a one-hour documentary, 
all forms of media has the ethical responsibility to tell the stories behind poverty. Stories of successful, sustainable development must be told. The United Nations Environment Program demonstrated successful sustainable development as in the renewable energy in China, feed-in tariffs in Kenya, organic agriculture in Uganda, as well as solar energy in Tunisia. Has the media covered any of these stories? The positive images of clean water flowing through a village or villagers carry an abundance of food just harvested can impact change. Leaders need to see and hear of sustainable development projects that are, in fact, working before they will be encouraged to leverage resources. The World Food Program says the poor are hungry, and their hunger trapped them in poverty. Hunger is the number one cause of death in the world, killing more than HIV, HIV AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis combined. Roughly one billion people do not know how to read and write their names. They cannot tell their own story to the world. It is the role of media to share their stories. The stories must be global and leave no demograph untouched. From suburbia to the poorest nations of Asia, Africa, Latin America, the media stories will inspire action and create change. Overall, a new paradigm and orchestrated actions should be adopted in a partnership between governments, international organizations, civil society, and the media to tackle the problem of poverty and to marshal the resources in a holistic manner, and not only to inform and educate, but also to highlight workable solutions and sharing of success stories from around the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.